Much of the food we eat and the plants we enjoy in our gardens depend on pollinators like bees. Most of us are aware of the plight of the honeybee, but our native bees are also important pollinators that are suffering from habitat loss and changes in our environment. We can help them all by making a few simple changes in our gardens. Start by creating a bee-friendly habitat that includes food, water, and a place for bees to raise their young. Loosen up on your housekeeping, creating a few small brush piles and leaving dried grasses, reeds, and deadwood in the landscape to provide nesting materials for native bees. Fall leaves on the ground, perennials standing for winter, and dead trees and snags also provide nesting sites for these important pollinators. About 70% of our native bees are ground nesting. They need direct access to the soil surface, so leave a few spots open with little or no vegetation. These bare spaces can be just a few inches or a few feet across. Look for sunny, well-drained, south-facing slopes whenever possible. Even a small container of sand can provide a home for ground nesting bees. And avoid tilling that can destroy these bees' nesting sites. Wood and cavity nesting bees make up about 30% of our native bee population. Some of them nest in soft or hollow centers of twigs and vines. Others use abandoned holes and trees left by other insects or rotting logs, stumps, and tree snags. Leave perennials standing in the garden over winter as well as snags and dead trees in place, as long as they don't create a hazard. These provide winter homes for native bees and other beneficial insects. Bumblebee populations are also declining and need our help. Preserve small abandoned animal burrows, tree cavities, grassy areas, fallen leaves, and other plant matter where bumblebees like to nest. Consider creating a few meadow-like areas in your landscape. Avoid mowing for several years, and if needed, mow high in late fall or winter. This allows the new queen a chance to burrow into the ground, hibernate for winter, and exit in the spring to find a new home. Grow a variety of plants that provide nectar and pollen from spring through fall. Include natives such as those suggested by the American Transmission Company in their Grow Smart program. ATC encourages all of us to grow pollinator-friendly plants. They're doing their part by growing these types of plants under their transmission lines. Here are a dozen Grow Smart Bee Friendly plants to consider adding to your garden. Remember, just a few simple changes can make a big difference in our bee populations. For more information on these and other bee-friendly plants, visit ATC's GrowSmart website and download a free pollinator planting guide.